Hi everyone, hope you're okay. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you my September swap, which I sent out to all the lovely ladies in the strawberries. There you go. So what I'll also do is I'll show a video after this of all the swaps I've received so you can have a quick look and hopefully get some inspiration. Uh, so it is using the artfully folded stamp set, which is a hostess stamp set. Um, so you do have to place an order of £150 minimum in order to qualify to purchase this at a rate of £9. But it's beautiful. You've already seen me use this stamp set uh, on another card. I'm using the same sentiment, however, so versatile with all these two-step stamping. So it's exciting. I'll put that to one side and move that over there for you. And basically, we're going to start with a base of Whisper White. I can't pick it up. Uh, Whisper White. So it measures 6.5 by 22.8. And that's the size of our extended notelets. Um, the pack you get with our extended notelets open on the side. Um, as I like it top folding, I do them myself. So I'm just going to fold that in half. Bring in the bone folder, make sure that's crisp, and there's the base, put that in there. So with the card, as you can see, there's a slight mat of Whisper White, and that's got the little, I'm going to say stars, they look like stars, um, shapes on, so I'm going to just Grab that on block A, ink it up and stamp it up. No particular order. Just until you're happy that you have enough going on in the background. that later and then we can just attach that to the back so using the snow adhesive just running that along and didn't fold that very straight I'm just gonna Place it onto the card so it's equal around all edges, like so. That's that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stamp the main element, which is going to be the swan. So that's also in mint macaron. And as it's a double step, so you've got one which is a solid, and then one that's just the outline. Just ink that up like so. Don't put your finger in it, that would help. Uh, off stamp, so then you get a lighter tone, like so. So then I just swap that for the outline stamp, which is there. Now if you're a perfectionist, use this stamp. Use the Stampin' Magicky tool. Um, or if you like me and like it a bit quirky and out of line, just go for it. Okay. So, as it's um, YouTube, what I've done is I have already cut it out. Now what I've done with my fussy cut is I've kept it quite straight. That's just to kind of replicate the angles of the image. That's up to you though, if you do that or not. Um, for me, I liked it, so that's how I did it. What I've also done is I've already pre-cut out in some vellum some 
the second largest square uh, from the stitch shapes and that's just going to sit on the card as well as a cute little backdrop what I'm going to do is quickly just put some adhesive on the back of the like so because we also do the natural twine which here is in my macaroon um, however I didn't like how thick it was compared to the card so what I did was I unraveled it a little bit and as you can see it splits into three other department well sections and then that section also splits into three and then I've got a strip here so I'm just going to wrap that around my fingers like so get three loops This is a fiddly part. Might want to take your time with this because it is fiddly and you want your card to be perfect. As soon as you're happy, just plonk it down. Like so, and then you have your cute little accent. As it is, so that can go onto. Like so. So that's also attached onto the card base with a dimensional. But what I've done is I've put that directly on top of where the other one was, securing the swan to it. That's just so you don't see any adhesive. And that's that. Turn the card around and simply just chop off the extra vellum. Like so, and with the sentiment, I used it on a block G. It's a B, B earring, kind of beautiful. And what I've done is I've already stamped that in Versa marker, marker and used white embossing powder just to heat that up. And that's just going to sit underneath, like so. So I'm going to cut this bit down. Like that. So this does measure half a centimetre. Which is the perfect size for the sentiment. So, just do a little bit of adhesive. Do that. On the back. And then you can place that on as and where you like. So I'm just going to make sure the whole sentiment is on there. And then just turn it around and chop off the extra again. Just tidy up that vellum a little bit as well. And that's it. That's all you need to make today's card or my September swap. Nice and easy. Super effective. And it's using one of my favourite colours in winter macaron. So please like or give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Uh, go into the description bar below to see all the links to my social media and my blog. All products will be listed there as well with links taking you straight to the online shop. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.